Welcome YouTubers. We are now in what we call Mount Airy, North Carolina. Also known as Maryberry, where Andy Griffiths was based on the show. And we're, we're gonna go into the museum hopefully here. And check it out. Hello. Open 9 to 5 p.m. The Father. Oh, want to go see the statue first? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Hey, it's on the statue. <laughs> that is. That is awesome. My papa used to watch this yourself. Yeah, that's awesome. I'd sit there and watch it with him. That's where we're at. That's where we need the show. Say hi. That's little Ronnie Howard. <laughs> the big time movie director now. That's awesome. <laughs> Walking down to the museum. Hopefully it don't cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> Just to see this part is still cool. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Hi. Like the jail is empty. Oh no. It. That's all cool. Hey, it's all oh. cool. I love the Andy Griffin show. I love the Andy Griffin show. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is so cool. So we have tons of questions because we never been here. Yeah, I've heard about it and I told them about it, so we stop we stop here on our journey to the beach. Okay, gotcha. Where are you guys from? Ohio. Oh, okay. Okay. You have three things you're looking to do, and mostly just focus on like the career and the last ending for the year. Um, I get a lot of people asking like where is like Humvee stuff, no B stuff. Uh, we just didn't get it, so most of the stuff was actually sent to us from Andy. Um, and like, you know, the stuff that we don't have is just because, you know, like it was never sent to us. And a lot of the stuff too originally from the show. Here we go. We're about to go into the Andy Griffiths Museum. Wow. Watch the Andy Griffin show. I watch it with him all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, good deal. Um, our parents watch it. That's so cool. Hmm. Oh. 
This is so cool. So this is like for real? Yeah, he did all this stuff. So I thought it was just a fictional character. What? Andy Griffith. He did a lot of these movies, yeah. Yeah, I did not know that he he grew up, be born here, but a little about a mile down the road, they say. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's probably why he based it on this when he did this show. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Maybe a courthouse take this panel, and then when he was in Matlock. I didn't know they had a comic book. They had a comic book too, huh? Uh, I did not know they had a comic book. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so cool that out. Did you know? Did you know he sang and had albums too? How about the frosting? Like I said, I'm just learning how to do this, so excuse me if I mess up a little bit on my filming. Wow. I didn't know he was in so much stuff. <laughs> Huh? It's yeah, huh? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of change. What is it? Me quarters? I think there is a more exhibits in here. Yeah. They must have them some Oh, I didn't know she was in so much stuff. The Maryberry Courthouse. You can actually buy the things? Oh, you can Here's our municipal building, same granite and same quarry, but I want you to get the building, the building's not there. That was the location of South Main High School. And that's where Edie went to high school and graduated from. Huh. Not the building, but the lot. And we had somebody else famous with her. Her name is Donna Fargo. Does that ring a bell to anybody? Donna Fargo, happiest girl in the world. You got it. <laughs> she, uh, we're getting ready to get on the dog. 1937, a gentleman named Wally Smith built that service station. 
is the original building and the original is called Rocks. Back in those days, the service station is for all the guys who got on Saturdays. Now they go to McDonald's and Hardy's. They get there at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning, leave at 5 o'clock that afternoon. I had to rock the chairs out in front. They sit up there and rock and chew the back and spit and tow lines. Break an old moonshine. I would guarantee there was not a problem in the world that was in that way at the time. And depending on this moonshine that they they solved that same problem two or three different times and came up with two or three different answers. But every once in a while, Andy's dad would take him down there when he was 13, 14 years old. 